everybody, Sheena the Henna Queen, and I'm back. I know it's been a while, and I apologize I haven't uploaded any videos lately. Um, actually, my husband and I have been working on something together called The Gator Pit, so if you guys have been watching that, um, you can go to his YouTube channel on Gator Johnny and watch our new shows that we've been doing, and we've just been um, interviewing people that uh, love reptiles and have different reptiles, so that's what I've been doing. That's just a little project we've been working on, but I do uh, miss doing my hair. So I wanted to tell you guys what I thought I would be doing today. So as uh, the last video I posted, I was trying to find a way. Oh, and there's Gator Johnny as, as I speak. Hi, Johnny. Hi. How are you guys? <laughs> this is my husband. You guys can see some of our videos on uh, the Gator Pit. And that's a YouTube channel that we just started. <laughs> Look me up and subscribe, Gator Johnny. Are you telling Are you going to do your hair? I, I'm going to do my hair. You are? I am. Oh, cool. What color are you going to do it? I like it red. It's kind of orange right now. Kind of have some orange with some some natural color here and all kinds of different stuff and natural blonde in the back. So I would love for it to be red. Yeah, I, I was just about to tell them what I was going to do. Thank you for that. What are you so, doing? All right. So what I'm going to do, in the last video I told you guys that um, I was trying to make it lighter and keep it lighter because when you use henna and you keep dyeing it with henna, it just keeps getting darker and darker. So I'm going to try something new I today. like it hot and bright red. <laughs> well, mm. I did too, actually. Yeah, so. We're going to try something a little different. Today I'm going to try my normal wine red henna, but I'm going to mix a little bit of the natural red with it to see if that will help it to not get so dark every single time that I dye it. So we'll see. So I mixed it up. Here's what it looks like when it's all mixed and yucky and muddy. And I actually mixed this with some raspberry tea to kind of get those red features out of it. And um, I'm going to go put all this mud on my hair, and I'll see you guys in about four hours That's when the fun it's part, done. isn't it? Just putting mud on you. It's pretty gross. That's awesome. And it, it drips down your face. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> you're so sexy when you're mud. Are you going to put it on my hair? If you want me to. Really? Will you like massage it in there and get a little... You're just trying to get a free massage out of it. What if I put it on your hair? I don't have too much hair. What if I put it on your mustache? You but then, I'll, see the gray but then I'll, have, I'll, I'll be like a half ginger. Well, come on, it would be kind of cool. Like no. a darkish red, you have like little, where the where the gray is. It'd be With my complexion, I will look totally weird. <laughs> All right, guys. So stay tuned. I'll see you in about four hours when I am done mixing this. Thank you for watching, and Bye. I'll see you soon. So before I start, I kind of wanted to give you guys a little rundown of my prep. So I don't know if you can tell, but um, on my hairline right up here, um, I have petroleum jelly. You can also use Vaseline or any type of oil. Um, Coconut oil is really good. Anything that will coat your hairline and also around your ears and the back of your neck so that way the henna will not stain is a really good idea. First time I ever did henna, I did not do that and I did have a red um, stain around my forehead probably for about three days and it's just not um, something you really want. I mean, it didn't look horribly bad, but you could definitely tell there was a stain there. So I do this now um, to avoid that. So I will be back. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. <laughs> 